So we're gonna check out some Dragon's Heart picks, the official guitar pick of House Targaryen. Now these are actually the faux Dragon's Heart picks. Now if you know anything about the Dragon's Heart stuff, uh, they're made of this like crazy space age polymer and they're like 10 to 15 bucks a pick. But they actually have these kind of fake thermoplastic picks that are kind of like an intro where you can get like a, like a six pack so you don't have to spend all that money just to kind of like ease your way into it if it's something you'd like because they have a very a very distinct shape. Uh, if you've ever seen the chicken picks, they're a lot like that too. But we're just kind of gonna do a few tests on them and see how they stack up to a regular Dunlop pick. So the first thing you'll notice is that it's kind of oddly shaped and there are really three, I mean you can make it four different ways, but there's a traditional pick end, a sharp pick end, and a rounded pick end. And you can also use between the traditional and the pointy one is kind of like, uh, like the side of a traditional pick if you wanna try that. But uh, yeah, these are made from dragon bone, blood, or scale, and we're gonna do the scale one right now. Uh, I think we're gonna start with a 1.5 millimeter Dunlop pick because the Dragon's Heart one is actually 2.5 millimeters. So anyways, you're gonna kind of hear the difference in the mid-range and stuff like that. So if we just start with like some strumming, right? And that was the Dunlop. And we're gonna start with the traditional Dragon's Heart one now. And then the sharp end. And then the rounded end. Now, the thing that I noticed most is it actually is kind of comparable to the tone that you're gonna get from like a thicker Dunlop plastic pick, but the feel of it is much different. And that's where these picks really shine is the versatility that you can get by changing the different end, right? So again, if you're just strumming chords, depending on your style, if you like hitting like a lot of intricate like root note, uh, root note chord things like... Maybe the, the sharp end would be a good one because you can really get a lot of articulation. Now, if you do the same thing with the rounded edge, it has a very smooth feel, almost like a thinner pick maybe. And you can even kind of hear the a gliding across the strings, especially if you do some stuff where you kind of like, uh, like rake chords a lot. I feel like the rounded edge helps in a very smooth type of way. Uh, now the traditional one, does feel pretty traditional, albeit it's a much different grip that you're gonna have to take on your pick. Uh, now, again, I think the sharp end is probably my favorite of it. You can do like uh, tremolo picking pretty easy if that's kind of your thing. Uh, something like that wouldn't work as well with the rounded one. And that's actually a good example of the differences, right? So if you just do some... the sharp one and then the rounded one. You can definitely kind of hear the smoothness, the smooth, smoothness of the rounded edge compared to the sharp one. Uh, if you had something that maybe required a little more articulation in uh, kind of like an acoustic guitar. By the way, I do pick stuff on acoustic guitars just because I feel like the tone of an acoustic guitar will showcase how the pick is affecting it more than like an electric guitar. So they say that these picks last three hundred hours of playtime because of the thermoplastic nature of the materials. So I crunched the numbers and what 300 hours of playtime will get you will be 2,250 times through Stairway to Heaven, 135,000 times through the riff of Smoke on the Water, and about one fish concert. So the sharp end. <laughs> That compared with the Dunlop. So 
I definitely feel like, especially with the pointed end of the Dragon's Heart one, you do get more articulation in the chords that you're playing. Now, uh, what is up to you, if you like it or not, is kind of like the, the sound of the raking across the strings, which I think is kind of pronounced with these picks, which isn't a good thing, isn't a bad thing, it just depends on your taste. Uh, and especially with the rounded edge, there's a, that smoothness kind of has like a gliding effect that almost kind of like helps you break chords. So especially if you're using picks and you find yourself trying to strum things and you get like caught up in the string set. Like if you try to like do a downstroke and you kind of just get like jammed up in the middle of a string set, this would be nice because the rounded edge kind of aids you in gliding through the strings, which you can kind of get the same effect with a regular guitar pick if you just kind of turn it to the side, but this is kind of like a nice bonus for one of these things. So the sharp end. end the uh, traditional end and the Dunlop 1.5 edge on the dragon heart. Or the rounded one. So again, smoother, less articulation, and the traditional one. So there you have it, Dragon's Heart Picks. Definitely, again, remember these are kind of like the fake ones. The nicer ones are a little bit more expensive, but if you want to try something out that is similar to their product line, it's just kind of like an introduction to a different type of pick, check it out.